when you slip and fall, whether on a football field or in your bathroom floor, or when you encounter some accident, you might enjoy yourself, right? And get one of these things, a surface injury, a sprain or a fracture. <laughs> surface injuries are not very serious compared to the other two. Now, in this case, the skin and a few muscles are damaged or there might be a minor wound or something. Now, these injuries usually heal themselves in a few days. So, simple, clean up and then not to worry, right? Now, you can notice a small swelling which might look reddish or you might have a black patch which is basically a surface blood clot. It's not too much to handle. Now, to treat surface injuries, we already know what to do with minor wounds, right? In the other cases, we need to apply ice packs on the affected region. Why? It'll cool that place up. Followed by that, we need to raise the affected region above the heart level. Now, that is, you'll need to lie down and raise the affected region up, let's say if it's your leg or something, and place it on a table or chair. This will reduce the blood flow. Remember, the heart is the one that's pumping the blood. And it will reduce the effect of the swollen muscles as well. Now, the sprain um, or a ligament tear is stretching or tearing up of muscles and ligaments. Now, ligaments are these tough muscle-like things that connect bones together in your different joints, right? Now, in the case of a sprain, the joint becomes very painful to use and it usually swells up. Unlike surface injuries, you can actually feel something inside paining a lot. The pain is usually felt around the muscular portions and not the bones. Also, you can somewhat move the sprained area, but you'll feel that there is not uh, not too much damage, but it's very uncomfortable. Now, when you go to the doctor, they usually put elastic bandage around the injured joint to press it and keep it from moving. Now, to help the healing process, we can pour lukewarm water or warm water over the sprained area. We can also use a water bag for similar results. In the case of long-lasting pain, ointments are available, such as Relaxic or Iodex. These will help reduce the pain. Of course, don't use these things too often though. They are actually very harmful to the skin and things. Now, fractures are a bit more serious. In this case, one or more bones in your body have broken or moved away from how they were supposed to be joined. Fractures cause a lot of discomfort and pain. I have gone through them. <sighs> Broken bones take a long time to heal and each time the injured part is touched or moved, the person will encounter a lot of shuddering pain. Intense pain and inability to move the affected area are the main symptoms that tell you that you have a fracture. Pain is mainly felt because uh, near the bone areas, right? And that part might look a little deformed even. Also, the region around the fracture will become numb after a while. Now, we cannot really do much about the healing part, but we can reduce the pain. A pain spray, like uh, a pain spray, just like what we've done with the sprain, can be used over the affected area until we get the person to a doctor, right? Now, some trained physiotherapists, they can actually push the disjointed regions together so that further harm can be temporarily avoided. Of course, not the broken parts when a joint is kind of disjointed. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Byju's, the all new and personalized learning app.